it's Joff from Mo Hotel Adventures again, back with you. Well, I'm in my motor home again this afternoon on a really wet, miserable day in Devon. It couldn't be much worse than this. It's absolutely atrocious outside. Still running it down with rain. So we're sat here, end of January now, um, still not going anywhere, which is a real shame. But um, it's a little bit like it this time of year. Um, so what am I going to talk about today? Well, uh, oh, just the first thing. Anyway, the first thing I wanted to say was um, we are on Instagram, uh, Motel Ventures. We do loads of like pictures and stuff. So we throw a load of pictures, uh, motorhome related on Instagram. So you can always check out our Instagram. I'm going to try and get a little Instagram picture up today, possibly uh, doing my, pho my um, editing. So hopefully, yeah, check us out, Motel Ventures on Instagram and um we had a great car actually just come across from Germany today. So uh, through Instagram, uh, these guys are down in Bavaria in uh, Germany. And uh, we exchange um, stickers. I don't know whether you can see that one. It's a lovely sticker all the way from down in the bottom of Germany. So uh, we send, what happens is they um, see us on Instagram and we have our stickers, Mo Hotel Ventures stickers and they would like to swap stickers and we we do the same it's um, great it's literally a great greeting from uh, these guys down there and it's the greetings from the land of beer and mountains so we're like yeah super uh, happy with that today so thanks guys from uh, down there we thought right uh, well my daughter gave me this uh, really nice book um, for Christmas so nice uh, edit in there in the beginning for all our adventures and stuff. So we're gonna try and uh, pack our book with uh, stickers from around uh, campers around Europe and stuff and worldwide, because we've, we've literally had some guys from America and Canada send us stickers exchange. They, they take a little bit longer to come, but uh, they, they come in the end and it's great. So uh, happy days. Another lovely sticker. Right, so I'm gonna chuck that over there a second. Right, today, I'm going to be, I'm just going to be talking about, um, I, th I thought, right, I, I spoke to, I was, I was speaking to a guy uh, earlier on and he saw, he was like saying to me about your videos and his, and, and he's like, great videos. And, and like one day, he's not actually a motor owner, he just sort of like had a look at a couple of my videos and he's like, so there's a lot of people out there that are just starting out with motor homes and uh, getting into it and stuff like that, which is like fantastic, you know, it's great life. So, uh, I just, you know, maybe a lot of you know all about sort of um, uh, interiors on motor homes and stuff we carry and stuff like that. But so that anybody that doesn't like know about interiors, what to carry in motor homes, I'm, I'm sort of thinking now, right, I'm gonna leg it back to basics and uh, basically, um, show you a couple of things that we carry. So I'm good. Well, today I'm going to be um, showing you our kettles. Uh, I know it's pretty basic kettles, and um, uh, yeah. So what we have, what we carry. I'm just going to grab my kettles a minute. Two seconds. So yeah, our kettles. We take a low wattage electrical kettle. So when you're on a hookup. Um, you can use this just like at home, which is um, great stuff. So we have, I'm gonna turn my camera now a little bit. So we have, just by our kitchen area in this, this motor home, we have like a, uh, a plug located up there. So I've got one of these short um, extension leads with, uh, this one here is like a block with uh, four three pin connectors on it. It's got a couple of USB ports as well. So we sort of have it in the corner here. So any electrical appliance that we want to plug on. So if you want to run more appliances around the kitchen area, uh, we have this one. It's super handy. And you just press that one. So we're on, we're on a hook. I'm actually at home now. The motorhome's on a hookup. And um, so this has actually got a nice little switch on it that you can put on there. So now you know the power is coming through. And then you can throw your plug in there for your little electric kettle low wattage one and this this is like a cordless one so it just really just sits on there like that sweet as a nut and uh off you go so uh and it, yeah just just like it owned up I'm, I, I, there's no water in it at the moment so uh, but great little kettle uh not over the top expect but these are low wattage kettles so if you are on a small amperage hookup 
and you start overloading it, it will just trip out. So you've got to be careful with um, what kettles. You, you, a lot of people use uh, kettles from home and stuff, but they're, they're uh, a lot of wattage, so drawing a lot of amps and stuff. So basically, this one here, it, it doesn't give us any problems whatsoever. We've been on like really minimal and we've been running loads of other electrical equipment. So that's a really good little um, uh, electric kettle. So we have that one there. And obviously, if we have not got electricity anywhere, if you want to stop on the road, you know, want to slide, you want a quick cup of coffee on the road, back to the old favourite, uh, the gas hob kettle, that one there. So that's what we have. So we need two kettles, one for the gas, um, one for the electricity hookup. And we, we've been literally in the summer, we've been outside. And if you're on a hookup outside, we, we've got um, a big reel outside with electrical pins on it that we can take our kettle outside and run it. We, we've got a um, gas Kadak that if you want to um, gas kettle out, you know, uh, do the gas kettle outside, you can use that one. So... Um, really versatile so with two kettles then you you've got it sus you know a lot of people and obviously if you're on electricity you just as well be using that and saving your gas so uh, that's the kettle setup that we carry and uh... um, what we do for stowing them with there's a there's a really little handy cupboard uh, just on our stairs going up to our beds so this little cupboard here flips up and if I can actually do it via holding it with my foot, I'm going to slide that one in the box in there, and the uh, electric kettle goes in that side. So it's all stowed away, nice and neatly. I don't know if you can see that there. So there's like no rattles. It's um, tucked in there. That probably, possibly, could be a little bit better. That kettle. I need to just put him down like that that's it and then the lid shuts down lovely um in there as well in the box is my toaster uh in there i've got one of them like wide ones and long because when in france and they do the lovely fresh baguettes it's awesome in the morning just to get some um, slice it up get some baguette in there and uh have your marmalade and butter on the, on some really nice uh, baguette uh, one of my favourite morning snacks that is. So I keep my um, and in well in here we've actually got this. This is um, bought abroad, so it's got the European plug on it. But we, we've got adapters and we've got um, extension leads with different. Uh, um, so you you, you can uh, it's not a, bit, a big issue to uh, buy electrical products abroad and sort it out yeah we t i think i was in a super used supermarket somewhere and spotted that and i'm kind of like yeah i'm going to do an upgrade from my tesco's value toaster you know so that's what we ended up with and it's an absolute dream next is coffee <laughs> and we're, we're pretty uh, hot we love a coffee i do love a nice cup of coffee in the morning so uh, down in our cupboard drawer down here we have stored away our naughty little Nespresso machine and we've got it stored in this nice little tub a uh, little plastic tub so everything just sits in there um, so it, it, it does not, nothing rattles around just get it so it's nice and um, and it all it's just rides in there perfectly stored away and again that's the um, cordless uh, f milk frother so I'm just going to turn that round I'll plug that over there in that one and there so that's our um, milk frother and um, right if you just bear with me a second I'm just going to turn that up there and then I'm going to pull our machine out and put our machine over there like that and the bits of the plastic stuff to go with it and our arachino milk froth rubber so what i normally do let me just uh, get this thought in get this sorted out a second right i like to keep my leads nice and tidy so i'll undo that there flip that one around there 
and that lead there comes around there and into there right there we go okay so there we're getting set up that back in there, Arachino machine on there, and a little thing there, and that one there. There we are, ready to go. And so in, in this motor, I know it's not all the world, but uh, we've got our actually Nespresso pod holders over there. And okay, so there it is all set up. Uh, coffee machine all in situ and the air milk frother arachino machine there and we have our normally I'm uh, nice and organized with my capsules so I'll put them down there so we've got our little box of capsules as well as ones up here which I we tend to uh, put our, some of our favorites up here and then just restock them out of our box if we're uh, somewhere for a few days we'll just throw that back in the corner out of the way or something or it's not a problem up in the cupboard but uh, there it is, so beautiful coffee. Uh, in the summer, we have some, we have like iced coffees, which is um, incredible when you get into hot countries and stuff and waking up in the morning, get a nice iced coffee going. And I just, uh, what I tend to do, I've got over in my drawer over here, or my cupboard, should I say, we have some boxes. And I'm just gonna pop these out of here. Da, 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 da. Sort of I'm wandering the camera around a little bit, but uh, so in the summer we use these bad boys. So they're insulated, the insulated takeaway coffee mug. And what I tend to do is when I want to do one of these, because obviously these are a bit too big for the machine, so. What I tend to do is pull the machine just over there, take that off, and then you can literally just put your cup down there and fill it up with ice and get yourself a nice iced coffee in the morning. Um, and it stays like in well, the, these these cups here are just like are so cool in the in the hot weather. So the ice just just like stays there for ages, and uh, I, te I, I I I tend to uh, end up having like I'm, I'm normally drinking the liquid, and the ice is still in there. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna grab another one, another shot in there, and so nice to wake up to in the morning. So that's our little coffee set up for a coffee. So right, I'm just gonna tidy things up a minute here. So yeah, norm normally normally. Um, or just having a normal regular coffee that will sit back there and um, we've just got some uh, normal our, our normal cups that um we stow up in this neck of the woods which are all tucked away in another little box so we as long as you know it's always nice to have a, a, a ch coffee literally tastes so much better out of one of these cups I, I you know you get your plastic cups and stuff but it's always nice to have a, like not a nice china club uh, cup and uh, these are personal ones by the way so uh, to go with a motor room so yeah look at that lovely sat in there dream cappuccino something like that froth up the milk awesome so i'm gonna put that one back in there and they let's say we, we just stow it get everything nice and tidy stow it away make it easy no hassle no stress and stick that back up there okay here we are back in the kitchen again with my coffee set up occasionally on a sunday <laughs> or a, a special occasion we have some really nice coffee cups so uh Again, I, I might have to uh, remove that bottom piece to fill these up with a nice cappuccino, but um, they are really awesome cups. And the, well, the, 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 the thing is with us, what we uh, try and do is uh, live your best life in your motorhome. You know, when you, if, if you went to the 
Ritz Hotel in London and was having your super duper cut. They, they serve up beautiful cups. And I'm not, I'm not saying they got these in the Ritz Hotel in London, but, but these are like really nice feeling cups and uh, they look good. And uh, there's nothing better than um, getting a really nice cup of coffee in the morning and um, drinking out of one of them cups like that. The other little thing that I like to do is up in my top cupboard. I'll just get this out a minute. Is an awesome wooden tray. So in the morning, we make our coffee and you can put it on your wooden tray and what's lying in bed there it is so life does not does not get from me life just does not get any better if you're parked out on the coast up in the mountains wherever you're parked you're lying in bed looking out the window probably a little bit different to a day like today <laughs> hopefully but whatever you know even even uh, on a day like today when it's raining wild up in the highlands of scotland maybe and you're looking out across the mountains and what better to be in your van in the warm having a lovely cup of coffee in the morning maybe a nice coconut macaroon to go with your coffee or something but yeah it for me life just doesn't get any better so that's that's what we're trying to what we're all about is trying to literally have your best um best of most things in your motor home make it as luxurious as possible and um happy days so i think today uh right i'm just gonna cut a minute so i've just packed away the espresso coffee machine again in its drawer in its plastic box all nice and secure there um and it just makes it so nice and easy, accessible. Get up in the morning, just take it out, set it up. Well, and like I say, if you're there for a couple of days or something, you can just leave it set up on your worktop and um, drink your coffee. But um, yeah, so it's a great little set. Like I say, it's just a well organized. We just like keep it organized in the drawer and away it goes. And right, so uh, basically, I'm just going to uh, turn this camera a second. Just turn this camera. So. Right, so literally with the weather like it is, in the back I've got me Kadak, like barbecue, stove, we've got some extra like pots and pans and stuff in the back that we keep in, in the garage of the, of the motorhome that um, we're usually like using that for outdoor use when it's not better weather and stuff. So uh, I'm not going to disturb any of that today and get that out or anything. So wait till a bet for a better day. And um, in the back also we have a halogen oven. In this motor room there is the um, conventional like uh, gas oven. So um, with a grill and stuff. But to be honest, we, we never need to use it. We, we hardly ever use it. We, we, we don't want to use it really. It's like nice to, um, I know it's probably um, not everybody's cup of tea, not trying not to use your, your gas oven, but we, we don't need to. In the, in the back, we have a um we've got the uh halogen oven which is for a great for electricity and the Kadak, which is great for like doing stuff outside i've I, i've got a um stone plate uh pizza plate to to actually put on the Kadak, which i haven't actually used yet i'm looking forward to using that one one day i love a bit of hot you know pot pizza but you we can do the hot pizza in our halogen oven if we're on a hookup and stuff whatnot so not all the world but um but another real good favorite of mine is my air fryer so this is a little like bubble egg style um air fryer which is uh it's been really good we've because i i do uh, love my chips i i do love a, a chip hit and this thing is like good for um chips and fish fingers stuff like that scampi fries scampi uh chicken bites and whatever and uh, really neat and um yeah so when when i might get a chance on a hookup and we we've, we've been on a hookup in we was on a hookup in a motorhome park in France where the hookup was you had to go down and get a token um from a 
tobacconist down the road and uh, so you they had a little board there saying where you could get your tokens and so I'd, I'd, i shot down and got a token it was like um minimum and it it, it I think it gave us like one hour of electricity so we could literally just plug on, uh, keep our leisures topped up while we're doing that. And it was kind of like, excellent. Get the coffee machine out, have a nice cup of coffee, get some chips on the go and uh, something like fish fingers and chips. So we had a um, couple of euros, paid for electricity for an hour and steamed into um, using the electricity. And um, yeah, this this has just been to um, die for, you know. And uh, I, I just love it. Do your chips. And um, and we, we, we've been like outside in the summer and um, using it outside. So uh, absolutely love it. Shame I can't shut the, shut the drawer. I'm doing something wrong here. Hang on. <laughs> My blogging is getting terrible and I've only just started. But uh, now, so yeah, love, absolutely love it. Set, set the timer, set the temperature. Off you go, probably um, 15 minutes, um, 12 to 15 minutes, and we got some like beautiful fries coming out. And uh, I, I got, I got, I, and I just love my salt and vinegar on the fries, bit of baguette again, back to the baguette again, bit of like nice butter, and uh, away you go. Live the dream, <laughs> live the dream, basically. Air fryer storage, you may ask. Well, I've got the original box. I keep the original box and then I can pack it away in the box and let it obviously let it cool down before you pack it away. It's, it, it, it's, it's minutes and it's um, back to um, cool again. It's well insulated, so not a lot of heat around it. And uh, back in the box and I have a big um, storage like we, we've got a um, like a wardrobe here. So right at the back of it, I just chuck it out of the way in there and um, and again, you know, we, we say like, you know, for the little amount of time you're going to use it, uh, it's no, it doesn't need to be majorly accessible, but we, I still like it fairly accessible so um, I, can, I can access it fairly good if I'm um, in the mood for some chips. So I'm just going to put it back in the box now for a second. So there he is, all tucked away back in his box and ready to go right at the back of our wardrobe there tucks away nicely there and we haven't got a lot of clothes in them but we we carry a, a, a few throw bags of clothes just for a quick emergency getaway some cokes lying around there but uh, basically, yeah, we just did it. So we've still got plenty of room for other bags and we've got our rail that slides out and stuff there. So uh, he just sits at the back there, out of the way, love it to death. Can't live without it. Same as an espresso machine. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I'm just gonna make it a little little short video uh, today of, like I say, just a couple of little bits and pieces. I know a lot of uh, motor roamers and stuff, they know what they're doing. But any, any comments or anything on stuff that we do, um, just give us a hit up and uh, give us a message and um you know we're we're, we're here to help people um live the best life you know and uh it, it literally is the best life um living in a motorhome uh when you're doing your trips we live in a house normally but so uh, we just love our motorhome so much it's just the best life the best relaxation when, when you travel somewhere and maybe you're a bit stressed on the road stuff like that and you park up and you're just in this little box you've got your bed you've got your heat um and you've got your food you can cook your food you can um, have your coffee you can have your co um you can have your tea whatever you want to be drinking i think in our fridge we might still have a few cans of beer which is always a good thing as well there's a lot of beer actually in here um yeah i think uh, on the last trip we didn't end up uh, drinking as much as we anticipated but at the end of the day we the fridge is off at the moment i just leave it off and in a minute I'll, if i leave the motor on i normally just uh, have the door on the jar just to keep it vented and stuff but um but uh, yeah you know it just doesn't get any better than this it's like your house on wheels and uh, basically thumbs up we love it so hey you guys and uh, so i'm trying to get a few subscribers now so um what about hitting the 
hitting the notification bell, maybe getting some updates on our blogs, um, subscribing to our channel. And, you know, we're, we're looking to give guys some serious inspiration later on, maybe later on this year, if we can get cracking again. Uh, we have, like I said, we, I've t probably told you guys before, we've got a Euro Tunnel book for the end of June. So we're just like basically keeping our fingers crossed. Um, maybe there might be a chance, you know, that we can um, get going again and uh, rock up some uh, great trips again. And uh, like I say, that's what we're here, we're all about is let's just rock it up, let's have a good time. And um, if we can help you guys in any way, give us a message. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.